The next 90 seconds could save your mate. I'm Tyler. I completed my apprenticeship uh, in commercial cookery and started when I was 16. The expectation of an apprentice is to do all the dirty work. You work in long shifts, day in, day out, night in, night out. You don't get weekends, you don't get Friday nights. I remember crying at the end of my first week. I was so tired. Managing life as well as doing that can be quite difficult. I just felt tired, a bit useless. Just felt like I wasn't worth much. It's taken a long time to push through that. Even today, there are still days where I feel like that. You have to have your neckerchief, you have to have your jacket irons, you have to have everything very set. And those things very much are the first things to slip away. They forget their apron, they forget their tea towel, they forget their neckerchief, it's not ironed. Things like that are quite dead giveaways. And that's when, you know, maybe if you're a mate to another apprentice, you know, say something. Talking about mental health and hospitality, I guess it's more prevalent these days completely. 20 years ago, it wasn't something mentioned ever. And I think people are starting to recognise, you know, how tough it is to work in hospitality. Having this sort of culture, I think, makes all the difference. They begin to laugh. They begin to crack jokes back at the other chefs. And that community, you know, is what really holds everybody together, I think. With and without that, I don't think anybody could do it. I've had conversations with my mates. It haven't been easy, but I've seen some of my close friends literally turn their lives around. And I know that I may have not had that friend today if I didn't have that conversation.